part. The actors and writers strikes brought the film industry to a standstill and the effects are still being felt here in the tri-state. Many local film and television workers have been out of work for months, so Film Cincinnati is asking for your help. Executive Director Kristen Schlotman is with us this morning to tell us about a fundraiser to support some of those workers while also growing the industry here. I mean, nothing stopped for you despite the writers and actors strikes. You're still working, Kristen, but talk a little bit about what it's been like uh, for the impact of the industry here in Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. Well, I don't think people know or realize just how many people work full time in the motion picture industry. You know, 10 years ago, maybe not as many, but in the last five years, there are hundreds of people that rely on this industry coming here to shoot in Cincinnati. And ever since May, when the writers went on strike, everything slowed down. But then when the actors began the strike in July, we came to a screeching halt. So what we want to do is figure out a, a way to build community, keep their morale up, mm -hmm. keep them focused on staying in this industry because we don't want to lose them to other industries and, and find a way to also line their pockets with something and make sure that they realize that, that we do need them here. That's really good. So every year you put on a really spectacular fundraiser, which has been great. Um, tell us how the fundraiser will help some of those folks who've been out of work. Well, normally Film Cincinnati's annual fundraiser is just a reason to celebrate and a, and a gala like atmosphere. Mm -hmm. But this year, guests are going to purchase a ticket and we will send them their call sheet, just like we would if they were on a major motion picture. It will tell them what time to arrive, exactly what to wear in character. And from the second they get out of that car, it's gonna be an immersive experience where they will go through hair, makeup, wardrobe, rehearsal, and they will see our industry behind the scenes at work and we're creating an entire back lot in this airline hangar at Lunkin Airport. So, so basically they're coming to work like you would if you were going to be in one of the movies being filmed here in Cincinnati and all those people along the way are the workers, is that right? Exactly. Wow. So guests will be the background performers of this scene that we shoot and all of the crew that we have been able to assemble will put this event on from behind the scenes. So instead of uh, party lights, we will have uh, motion picture lights, lighting the set, setting the stage. Uh, we have caters that, that cater motion pictures and craft services. Mm, that's we my will... favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I think the only difference between a major motion picture and what we're doing is that there will also be a bar. So. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> well, I think it's really interesting for people to see this because a lot of times when uh, Bruce Willis or somebody comes to town, they're doing the filming in the middle of the night, you know, when businesses are closed or maybe in areas like, you know, I don't know, out in Batavia or somewhere where Robert Redford was shooting out, yeah. out east of town. And so people aren't just necessarily coming across these movies being filmed here, but they can see what really happens when the industry is working here in town. If I get one phone call at Film Cincinnati, I get it 10 times a day. Yeah. Can I just come watch filming? Can right. I just see what it's like? And can you really can't, right? And on October 28th, we're gonna give everyone a <laughs> chance to do that. And also feel really good about it because you're helping these people that have been put out of work during this strike, which we hope is resolved soon. But also you'll be supporting bringing major motion pictures here moving forward. Are there some other ways that Film Cincinnati uh, is helping the workers as they recover from the strikes? We've been providing them with resources, updated information on negotiations, uh, other you know industries to pivot to part time until until you can get back in this industry full time, and just a really wonderful community. Um, creating that networking opportunity so people can talk to other people that are out of work and just creating that environment for them is what we've been working so on. So if people want to come to the Backlot event on October 28th, what do they need to do? Just go to our website, mm -hmm. filmcincinnati.com. You can get tickets there and we welcome everyone. It's going to be an incredible evening. And, and if you're not part of that, stay in touch with us because there will be major motion pictures to come and we do need the community support for all of those. Right. And you might be able to be an extra or something like that. They're always asking for yep. maybe an attempt. Italian person for wise guys and all kinds of different things like that. It's a lot of fun. I know your work continues on getting more films made here too. I can tell you once this strike is resolved, Cincinnati is going to be really busy in the motion picture business. And uh, that's what's really exciting. But we want to, in the meantime, think of all these people that have yeah. not been working. That's very good. Kristen, thank you so much. Thank you. Call the back lot. Go online. Get those tickets. Coming up. Get hey there. Yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest. You don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.